Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. All right, today we're going to be doing crisp bean burritos. As you can see, I've got a sizable tortilla right here in front of me. It's pretty big, pretty doughy. It's got a real good consistency to it, so you can roll it and won't crack or, or fail on you when you wrap uh, up any kind of burrito. But uh, we're going to keep it simple. Like I said, crisp bean burritos is what we're doing. Here, I've already got the uh, refried beans. Now, believe it or not, the best way to do this is to pick up yourself a bag of these, okay? They are dehydrated refried beans. And the secret to these that most people won't tell you, other than following the regular directions, is to start with some bacon fat in the bottom of your pan, then follow the rest of the directions, okay? At the very end, throw in some scallions, stir it up like this. As you can see in there, little green scallion pieces in there and then you're good to go. Now, what you can do is take these tortillas, cut them just like this, cut them in fours. Don't have to be perfect. And then what you're gonna do is after the beans have cooled down enough to where they're thick, because you don't want them running off your, your plate, and you don't want them in the uh, fryer bleeding out everywhere. So you're gonna put just a little amount right there like that and you're gonna smear it on the inside and you're gonna keep to one of these edges here and keep away from this edge here and then all you gotta do is roll it toothpick I stab it in and I come back out Okay. And that's that. That's all you gotta do. I'm gonna knock out a bunch more of these and then we'll take them to the fryer. Now, here's the easy part. Get your fryer up to 375 and drop these things right in there. It'll only just take a couple minutes for those to get the color and we'll pull them out. Okay, they're good to go. Lift that fryer up, just like so. Let it drip dry, give it a few minutes, and then we'll take it to some paper towel and serve it up. There you go. Now very simply, just pull the toothpick out. How hard is that? Crispy and burritos, right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen.